Hey everybody, Hell Pockets here for Game Goons TV, and you might be noticing that today we are not using the green screen because, frankly, I'm lazy and full of pho, so I'm probably going to take a nap right after this. But anyway, let's get into it. Dragon Ball Super, episode 102, pretty much, I don't want to say a throwaway episode, this episode was actually really cool. I think that there are a lot of nice action points, a lot of highlights in this episode, a lot of big, exciting fights. But I also feel like it more or less left us wanting more yet again, and not in a good way. I kind of feel like it might be time to move along with the story a little bit, guys. Anyway, first up, let's introduce these new, I guess you could say, anti-heroes? Villains? I don't know what you call them. Nobody's really a bad guy yet, other than Frieza and Frost. So Universe 2 gets a little bit of the spotlight here with Sankaku, Suros, and their leader, Brian de Chateau. These three are basically, you know, the love fighters and more or less the magical girls of the Dragon Ball series. Anyway, so those three are showing up. They're making a big stage presence. The whole thing, I guess there's their, their gimmick is that they're idols of Universe 2. And so they grab everybody's attention with a big stage show on top of a mountain and do their little transformation thing. Halfway through it, your boy Android 17 just lays into them like a normal person would. Basically breaking the illusion Breaking kayfabe. He basically killed kayfabe. Android 17 gets into it with Sankaku. I guess her whole thing is like, I love to hurt people. Pretty cool fight. Android 17 takes a couple licks and realizes like, hey, gotta turn it up a little bit. And starts showing off some of that great power that he demonstrated against Goku back on Earth. And a little bit beyond that, where Goku actually comments saying, hey, you didn't show me this shit when we sparred on the island. Of course, I should point out that of all people to be upset about someone else hiding their powers, the last person should be Goku. Anyway, Android 17 is a fucking badass. I am so happy that he has appeared in this arc. I'm pretty sure that there's people in the writing staff who are extremely pleased that they were able to unfreeze the guy because he basically gets to break a lot of the rules that a lot of Dragon Ball characters follow, you know? he does That shit doesn't apply to him. Let's face it, he had two options when he was younger. Kill Goku. Go cruising. You know, he's got a pretty good lifestyle. Obviously, he ruined it by having a family and then becoming a park ranger, but whatever, you know, that was his own choice also. Love the character. Hoping that he appears in Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't want to hopefully rock the boat on that. It's not 100% It's not 100% confirmed, but, you know, people are talking that Android 17's voice actor was uh, dropping hints that he may have done work for Dragon Ball Fighters, so possible we don't know if it's a playable character yet maybe he just did a voiceover for a menu item or something you never know those things those kind of things happen great episode for fighting unfortunately i felt a little bit empty we got to see frieza for a second there and for a moment i was like hey we might finally get some you know exposition on whatever the hell he's planning with frost uh maybe get this little side plot going on i think the fights are cool but if it's just pure fighting and no plot it kind of just ruins the point of all that setup that they kind of were hinting at for, I don't know, 10 episodes. I think it's time to just move forward. I think it's time that they finally put their cards on the table, reveal at least a piece of how they plan to, I'm assuming overthrow Zeno, because that's basically the only way they're going to be able to get any kind of scheme off that either one of them benefits from. We need something. We need something we can sink our teeth into. Good fights are good fights. I love them. I don't want that to go away, but I also want some exposition. I want some plot. I want some storyline here. Give me some kayfabe here. Give me some heals, and then give them real heal heat, okay? I want to hate Frieza, but I don't get to see enough of them. So, at this point, I'm starting to hate everybody else because there is no freaking line anymore. The line is a dot. Shape up. Anyway, if you like what you saw here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to catch us live, you can catch us on twitch.tv where you can also subscribe to us for the low, low price of $4.99. It's probably like five bucks. Sorry, guys. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter at TV, and you can follow me on Twitter at HellPockets. And of course, Keep it super, you know what I'm saying?